Hey, everybody, listen up. Here's what God has to say. Oh, yeah. What you got for us today? Today we're talking about when we feel down. Oh, that's the worst feeling. Like when you get a bad grade or your brother knocks over your Lego tower. The one that took over a week to build. When you're feeling down, you can remember it's not the end of the world. God is always there to comfort you. This reminds me of a guy in the Bible named Jonah and how God comforted him when he was feeling down in the dumps. Oh, man. Did his best friend move away? That would make me feel pretty upset. That would be hard to deal with. But Jonah was down because he didn't want to do something that God had asked him to do. God asked him to go to a place called Nineveh and tell the people living there to stop being bad. Makes sense. Get them to stop being bad. Like, hey guys, cut it out! Done and done. Easy. Well, there was just one problem. Jonah didn't want to go to Nineveh. He knew the people there were not acting the way that they should. But instead of helping them, he thought they should be punished for their mistakes. So what? He wanted God to, like, ground them or something? Something like that. Instead of listening to God and going to Nineveh, Jonah took off in the opposite direction. Oh, no! Oh, yes. Jonah ran all the way to the sea, found a ship, and paid the captain to let him come aboard. Then Jonah found a place inside to lay down and take a nap. Taking a snooze? Not listening to God must be pretty exhausting. I'm not sure, but as soon as the boat left the shore, a very bad storm came up and started tossing the boat around. Back and forth and back and forth. I bet there was lightning, crash, and thunder, and waves crashing over the boat. Everyone was so afraid that they started to throw their stuff overboard in hopes that they wouldn't drown. Overboard! The captain went to find Jonah and said, How can you sleep? Get up and pray to your God. Maybe he can help us. Meanwhile, the sailors decided that the storm was Jonah's fault. They were probably all like, Jonah, what have you done? Make it stop. Exactly. And Jonah told them, I believe in the Lord, the God of heaven, who made the sea and the land, and I am running away from something God asked me to do. It's my fault this is happening. If you throw me into the sea, the storm will stop. Speaking of stop, stop right there. Are you saying that Jonah told the sailors to throw him off the boat? I mean, I get it that Jonah probably fell down because he was putting these men in this storm, but that's crazy talk. You heard me right. The men didn't want to do it, but after praying, they knew they had to. They picked up Jonah and threw him into the water. Instantly, the storm was over and the sea became still. So that's the end of Jonah? Oh, no way. Get this. When they threw Jonah off the boat, he was swallowed up by a great big fish. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? God actually sent the fish to keep Jonah from drowning. And he stayed in the fish for three days and three nights. Oh, man, that's comforting. But I can't even imagine. No windows and covered in disgusting fish guts for three whole days? Yuck! While Jonah was inside the fish, he did a lot of praying and said, When my life was nearly over, I remembered you, Lord. My prayer rose up to you. You are the one who saves. Then God told the fish to spit Jonah out onto dry land. I bet Jonah was happy to be out of that fish. He probably needed the longest shower in the history of showers. Then the Lord told Jonah a second time to go to Nineveh and tell the people there to stop being bad. Please tell me he listened this time. Oh, he sure did. Jonah obeyed God and left for Nineveh right away. When Jonah got there, he told the people to stop doing bad things or their city would be destroyed. To Jonah's surprise, the people listened and the city was saved. And they all lived happily ever after. The end. Well, that could be the end of the story, except Jonah left the city feeling down. He was upset that God didn't punish them all. So Jonah went on a hill and sulked. When God saw Jonah, he knew how Jonah was feeling and comforted him. God explained to Jonah that he loves everyone and would rather see people turn from their bad ways and do good again. So God comforted Jonah when he was feeling down? Yep, and he'll comfort us too, no matter what we're going through. Even in the belly of a fish? Even in the belly of a fish. Because when we're feeling down, God comforts us.